guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite from May and June. Now, yes, usually people do the one month review, but I figured I've been using these products throughout May and June, so I might as well just give you the May and June favorites. Now I'm going to start off with skincare. I cannot tell you how much I love these products. It's been two months already that I've been using them straight every single day and I see a difference in my skin is smoother, it's fresher, it feels more youthful. Um, and I'm gonna start off with Josie Moran. This oil smells so good. And look, I'm already halfway, a little bit more than halfway through, and I just love it. It just makes your skin feel very soft and refreshing. It's a whipped argan oil face butter. So they do have this for the body as well, but I just grabbed the uh, face one and I love it this is the size that it's in the one for the body is a really huge one I'm sure it will last forever but it says apply to the face day and night after cleansing I only use it once a day which is in the morning before my makeup and it just leaves my skin wonderful it's a light cream very soft it feels very whipped like, like it says and it just let me see if i can show you guys my camera i usually take like this amount i don't know if you could let me see if i can focus focusing on my face um you know what let me put it on my neck just so you guys can see it gives it like like glowy like refreshing and wonderful feel to it it absorbs very quickly so you're not gonna have like that like oily feel so it doesn't feel oily it just feels it feels like a cream this on your face neck and chest area if you like that's what i do i don't know if you guys can see the difference probably not well maybe a little and I love this product I also grabbed the um, Ole Hendrickson this is the travel kit and I got it at Sephora I think around April and I have been using this every single day since and this is a travel kit this is the mini size and guys this has lasted so long but I am almost done with it you guys can see it's almost gone and I love it it just leaves your skin refreshing as well so I put these on right before my makeup and it just leaves your skin great it, this is a sea rush brightening gel cream it's supposed to just like brighten up your face and just leave it clear I use it just to give it moisturize and then this one is the Ole Hendrickson the banana bright eye cream it's just supposed to brighten up your eye area and leave it ready for any your foundation or makeup and I love it as well it gives it like a really shiny look but it's not oily um, and I just like that look if you don't like the like the shiny look maybe this is not for you maybe they have a different type of cream but I love it and I recommend these um, if you're in your 20s your 30s your 40s I really like these products going on with the makeup these concealers I've been using for the past two months ever since they came out and these are the Jeffree Star concealers. I got the one in pink, which is the corrector. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, this is the corrector. And this is for the under eye circles. I love it. Wonderful. It corrects my under eye circles. I have been searching for a corrector for a really long time. And somehow you still can see my... Um, dark circles they're my dark circles are very extreme but with this product I love and it's not matte it gives it a little bit of radiance to the eye so I just love it this is a plus this is the concealer which I got in I believe it's 
not quite the same. This is a concealer, and this is a darker shade for me. This is the C16. I got it a darker shade just because I knew I was going to use it during the summertime, and during the summertime I'm usually tanner, so it matched perfectly. Um, I do use a little bit of a concealer just to brighten up the top, which is the e.l.f. And that's a, a white one, but under that, I, I've been using these for the past two months and I am absolutely in love with his products. I mean, he did such a great job. I will continue to be using his products. And the lip gloss. I love this lip gloss. It's so shiny and it gives it just like the right amount of gloss without being disgustingly sticky, which I hate. I'm the type of person that I really don't wear lipstick just because it gives it like that heavy feel after a while and then it just starts like peeling and I try to stay away from lipsticks. I wear lip pencil and I just fill in my lips with it. It feels lighter than lipstick and it's just like easier, it, it blends in better, I don't know, I just really like the uh, pencils. And then with the lip glosses, I try to stick to the same ones just because a lot of them are just very thick and sticky and ugh. But this quality here of Jeffrey, he did it good. I hope that he comes out with a foundation. I'm really looking forward to that just because I'm already loving his other products. His, this, you know what, what I do with this as well? I haven't been putting foundation. I have no foundation on right now. What I've been doing is just putting this under my under my eyes, on my nose, and then just a little tiny bit on my cheeks, and then I just spread it around. And that has been working great. So I really do. I really would like for him to come up with cons with a foundation in the future. I would really grab that, and I'll give you guys a review on that as well. For the eyebrows. I bought this as well, I believe in April. I did do a haul. It was a Sephora haul for these uh, pencils here and for the creams, I'll list it down below for you guys. So you guys can see that video when I first got it. I believe it was like late April. Um, so I've been using it the whole month of May and the whole month of June. June is almost over, so I've been using this. And I really, really, really like this. I used to use the Anastasia eyebrow pencil now I'm into this this is the benefit goof proof brow pencil and I like the fact that it comes this is a tip that it comes with I don't know if you guys can see it's a pretty thick one um, the color stays on the other side it comes with the spoolie very convenient I love the look to it it's really cute and it works it just fills in my eyebrows just the way I like it it comes in different types of shades and this is a plus I will continue using this until I find a different one but so far I'm really really happy with this one this is the give me brows and this is a little filler for the brows it comes with a little tiny spoolie and I guess it has like powder. No, it's not powder. It's like gel. You guys can see it's like a tint to it. I don't know what this is. It's like, I don't know, but it fills in your brows. So right after I do the pencil, I fill in my eyebrows with the pencil, I go ahead and brush this in up and it just fill in my brows and I'm Loving it so far. Alright guys, and lastly but not least is the setting spray. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter and I really really like this one. I will be very honest with you guys, it has no smell to it. None whatsoever. The one that I used to use before was the, um, the Too Faced Peach and it smells so good. So I wish the All Nighter had a little bit of smell to it. Like a I don't know, lavender, fruits, whatever. Um, I know a lot of you guys don't like the smells. 
this has no smell but it leaves your face feeling refreshed and it does make your makeup last all day long i put my makeup on early in the morning and i come back home late at night and my makeup is untouched i it's hot outside it's cold outside it doesn't matter the weather this stuff really works guys i'm being completely honest with you guys i am not getting paid for any this is not sponsored this is just me giving you the honest truth on the products and i really love this stuff and it gives you like a like a glow to it i just and it just refreshes your makeup throughout the day you don't have to wear it throughout the day because i leave my house early in the morning and then come back tonight but if you come across it i know some of the you spray it on and it feels refreshed it just gives it like a refreshing feel to it you know so i love it that is it guys that is my may and june favorites i've been using it for two months now and i love these products i'm definitely gonna buy more of this olay hendrickson i know they have other items in their brand and i i want to try it it smells really good too it smells like orange less citrus and i'm definitely gonna buy this it is on the pricier side uh that's why i grabbed the travel kit first to see how i really like it i've been using it for two months now and for this tiny little packet two months is a really long time so i can imagine how the um original size is um i still have the under eye because it's just you only use a little tiny bit like you just i just grab it with my nail and then like put it on if you guys check it out if you guys pick it up let me know in the comments below and let me know what you think about these products i know that you guys will love it comment below if there's any other products that you would like me to try let me know on the bottom let me know in the comments below and i would definitely grab those and try it out for you guys for now this is it thank you so much for watching thank you so much for my 31 subscribers you guys mean the world to me again you have no idea how much i appreciate every one of you and if you have not subscribed subscribe below give it a like comment below ring the little bell so you guys won't miss any of my future videos thank you again for watching and i will see you in my next video